I'm Chris Merrill. He's Joe Huizinga. I thought you were having a seizure over there. Did you hear Zin- Zinsmeister's, um, I don't know, This Day in History or whatever it is? The it's year his timeline. Reading, timeline, yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you, did you, he sounded a little too joyous about her, about tornado deaths, didn't he? And then it killed 22 people. Well, it's, we tr- taught him to read with a smile on his face. Well, it worked. <laughs> it worked. Speaking of a smile on your face, I was thinking about all the people uh, that were partying this last weekend, and it was not me. So Saturday. Uh, 16th hole out at the uh, the Phoenix Open concert in the Coliseum. I was going to tell you what I did on Saturday. Oh, not what they did. Nothing. I did nothing. I, I did nothing. You weren't there? I watched Lessons in Chemistry on uh, Apple TV. That's what I did Saturday. You were not at. Did you get an invite? No. I didn't either. <laughs> no. No, you know what I you you know what I did on Saturday. Come, what do I always do? I get up, I go for a run, running. I go for a walk. Yeah, of course yeah. you did. Yeah, that's yeah. what I did. I had to break in some new shoes. Did a little <laughs> little jogging around the hood. So at the and then I got a text from Joe. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Sunday morning. Was it Sunday morning? Yeah. And uh, it was after the big spectacle that okay. we missed out on. So I get this text from Joe, and it says, "Oh my gosh, did you see who was at the Phoenix Open?" And I was like, "Yeah, it was." Posty. At the big concert. Posty was there. Post yeah. Malone. Kind of the kickoff concert. 16th hole. It's all enclosed. Everybody's up in the, the suites. And the... and then he's making fun of this Scottsdale lawyer friend of ours. And he says, <laughs> and this guy was there. And like He posted it on social media. And the guy's like, what? F- he's like mid to late 50s. 50s. Yeah. Not a Post Malone not guy. A, not a face tattoo kind of fella is what you're saying? Well, I don't think you need a face tattoo to yes, enjoy Post Malone. Yes, I do. enjoy Sunflower. Come on, that's my jam. Wait a minute. I love it. Is that hold on. Yes. I don't I don't think I could pick Sunflower out of a lineup. Is this you, the You can. That's Sunflower. That's it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's one of the uh Is he songs from Spider Man. No. That okay. that's that's dubbed in there. Okay. I like the way you beatboxed it, though. You should have been at the concert. You could have been down there with him. Bruce has to use this microphone later, too, so that'll be fun for him. Mm. Uh, so Joe's text to me was something about how ridiculous it was that uh, old white people were mm. hanging out with uh, what is the young hip artist. And I thought, why can't you let them have a good time, Joe? Why do you have to be that guy? I, I, I think you have... Twisted my words slightly. Go on. My text to you, I, I always delete my text so that Smart. I have plausible deniability. Mm-hmm. Like, what did you say to Chris? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> um, my point to you in my text was loosely like just the the dichotomy that you have going on here okay. between our, our wealthy lawyer friend and presumably the thousands of others who were in attendance – who are very wealthy yeah. and you know nobody was getting a snap little benefits bit of, of that uppity, deal. Yeah. like more of the Bruce Springsteen type crowd, a little more you too. Okay. When I think post Malone, I think people more like you know, like a little more you know, my generation, like down to like late teens and twenties, thirties. I'm forty one. You're a geriatric millennial. Yeah. You call that. Yeah. Okay. But so like late teens up through early forties. Okay. That's the Post Malone crowd. Kind of the, the Grammy crowd, right? Yeah. Okay. No so doubt. Grammys were last night, too. As opposed to the crowd that that I think would go out and check something like this out, which would be more into a, what would you say, like not a retired artist, but a no, but not, it, not an up-and-comer or not a hot artist. Legacy artist. Yes. Legacy. Yes. And just <laughs> it was making me laugh of like, hey, Post Malone, nobody cooler out there. Mm-hmm. And these people who are there, of course, want to see Post Malone because he's cool, mm-hmm. and they want to be able to, you know, take the photo, snap it for all their friends. Like, look, I'm at Post Malone. Yeah. But if Post Malone is down at Footprint Center, yeah. there is no way our rich lawyer buddy yeah. is down at Footprint Center checking out, what do they, Posty? What do you call him? Posty. Postmate. Oh. Uh, you're a Post-it. The, okay, yeah. I like it. <clears throat> you're a Postmate. That's good. Okay. Uh-huh. I can't figure out if you're... Happy he was at the at the oh, I'm thrilled he came to Arizona. 
But like, you do you mean our he... rich lawyer friend? Well, no, I, you... no, I am not happy he got a good experience. Is, he did minute. not deserve that. Hold on here, bud. Yeah. Is your issue that it was post Malone at the 16th hole to as the at the Phoenix Open Open, or is your issue yeah. that the people that were going there were the wine and cheese crowd, not the post Malone fans who really couldn't get in the gates because we don't have the connections? I'd say more of that. Okay. More of column B. Okay. Than so, column A. So it's got no problem with post Malone. He's cool. And it was good for the Phoenix Open because of it's course. kind of their brand, right? It's kind of like, hey, we're the Rebel Golf Tournament. We're the Happy Gilmore yeah, of golf. Come hang out on the 16th hole. Scream when the golfers hit it. No, yeah. boo them if they miss the green. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah, more of like a, hey, so you're a wine and cheeser, so and you're going to try to tell me, hold on, that you actually want to see Post Malone, or do you just want to be able to say, I am the elite. So I he, got to be in attendance as Post Malone played Circles. I've never heard Circles, but I love it. So is this like a reverse poser situation? Like, normally you've got somebody who can't hang out in the elite crowd that's pretending to be something, an elitist that they're not. Mm -hmm. But in this case, you have actual elitists yes. that you claim are trying to... Uh, Pose. Slumming? Is I like it? this. Reverse posers. Are we slum posing? Oh. Pablo, is this slum posing? Is this... Is this how this works? I mean, I, yeah, we, I, I can approve of that one. See, none of us are able to do this. He we're we're not of this crowd. I, which crowd? Am I the... Am I the we are posers. We don't get to slum pose. We're, we're old-fashioned posers. Yeah, yeah. We're the OG posers. Yeah, Very we want to be with the cool people, but so, we can't do it. So who else, who then... Okay, the crowd that's going to the Phoenix Open is going to be the, the upper crusties, right? Yes. All right. Yeah, the people is, who you would, again, Springsteen, U2. The people with disposable income that raise your rent. Yeah. Okay, good. For, for an event like this, they're going to be up in those luxury boxes and the suites. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and good on them. Yeah, average people can go to the open, but they got, you know, they just got like the single day pass and they're going to throw back, you know, 50 yeah. drinks in the Red Solo Cup. Right. Yes. Which is, which is why Post Mullen really fit this old yeah. Red oh, Solo awesome. Cup, right? Yeah. Yeah. But should they have gotten somebody that was more befitting then of the of the, the the wine and cheese crowd, the slum posing crowd. Or, you know, like who else could Wh fit the like post Malone bill? Oh. Like what about like, you know, like Travis Scott? I don't, is that the guy from McDonald's? He, yes, he had like a happy meal or a, a it wasn't a happy meal. It was a meal that... named after him. Come on, you know Travis Scott. I don't. There were deaths at one of his concerts down in Texas. That guy. Think he dated a Jenner? Bruce? No. <laughs> no. Kai, I don't know the Jenners. Is no. that Kim Kim Kardashian Jenner? N no, she, she's just Kim Kardashian. But like, who who is of that crowd? Oh, Pablo, right. you got anybody who is from that crowd? Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny would be another good one. The Evil Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the Bad Rabbit, not the Evil Rabbit, but. Oh, all right. I have to parse this because I'm confused by whose bunny was misbehaving. Okay, so Post Malone uh, opened up the Phoenix Open. It was the, the Phoenix Open Open on Saturday night. And the 16th hole did a concert. Uh, In the, what they call the Coliseum. The yep. boss was there. He was whining, whining and dining. The boss, he too can pull off the like, like he's like in his mid-40s. Uh -huh. Not like 60 or 70 year old dude who okay. would never go to Post Malone. And you see him take the selfie of like, dude, look how cool I am. I'm a Post Malone. <laughs> like, now, if, if you're a lady and you're in like your 40s, 50s, 60s, yeah. you can totally pull it off too. Cause you can be like, like somehow women, now this is a guy trying to make this tell me, point. Tell me about women, Joe. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. This is a, Becky Lynn, cover your ears teach for me, this. Teach, yeah. teach, teach me about, <laughs> oh God. Teach me about women. <laughs> My observation is that ladies can, don't make the face over there. Go on. Uh, ladies Please. can, if they say like, hey, I want to go check this out or I want to do this. Yeah. They can pull that off That's true. for a much longer time than guys. They, they're still wearing apple bottom jeans and boots with the fur. There you go. They're still pulling that off. But if you or I but try if, to do that, no. You and apple bottom jeans. Mm -mm. Probably not gonna not gonna work no. out. Okay. Yeah. So who else? Because I talked to my wife. Mm -hmm. She is in her, and and she had uh, that was strange. Mm -hmm. It was weird how that worked out. Yeah. Uh, she said, I'd go see Posty. I bet. To your point. Uh-huh. Okay. 
Who else, though, would go? Because I got to be honest. You told me about his big hit, the the Sunflowers in Paradise song. No, Sunflower or Circles is another big one. That one I recognize. I had to YouTube some You things. are so cool. I did. I, I, I looked it up, and I recognized that one. Mm-hmm. And then what's this other, uh, do I know this one? No. Oh, what do you got? I do not recognize that at Why all. Why does it sound like it was recorded on a steel don't, drum don't underwater? Don't know, dude. Don't, don't judge it. It's what I do. Now you just killed okay, it. Okay, go on. No, nah, it's not working for me. You don't recognize it. I don't recognize it. Okay. No. All right. All right, so who would have been uh, good then, Joe? You say, uh, are you saying that it needs to be a more legacy artist or are you liking that the Phoenix Open Open was sort of to their brand, oh. young, rebellious, fun? Dude, in a way, I love it because I love to see, you know, like the, you know, late 50s, 60-year-old crowd snapping their selfies like, yeah, I'm cool. First time in 20 years, I've been cool. I'm out here at the Coliseum doing my thing. So I want to know who who are the other, like, cool, trendy artists who you can have out there, like Tony and Phoenix. He's got a good one. Tony, who do you think that the uh, the uh, Phoenix Open should have out there at the Coliseum next year? I think they should bring out Jelly Roll. There you go. Right there. Yeah, Come on, Chris. Jelly Roll. Is that like a long jump? He's blowing up. Dude, you know Jelly Roll. Is that an elephant ear? No. I what he's, is... he's the big guy. I thought Post Malone was the big guy. started off with like a trap drug rap, and then he turned into country. There you go. Hold on. A trap drug rap. Yeah, that that was his genre of music. That also sounds like charges against somebody. Then he went to country. Yeah, he's doing the trap drug rap now, right? He got the three to five. That's what he was doing, was the trap drug rap. (sighs) And then he went to country. Okay. Michelle, you're in surprise. This this worries me a little, Michelle. You don't know who Post Malone is? Uh, no, I have no idea. I Good. thought you were talking post Carl Malone or some basketball player. Good. Like, I have no idea who you're talking about. Thank you, Michelle. You and I are on the same page here. Michelle, do you have kids? Because I have kids, and they will post crap on Instagram or whatever. I have no idea what they're doing. No idea. So I have two grown adult sons who are both off the of social media. They're done. Good. <laughs> Good. Uh, Smart. Because hmm. you know what happens if you spend too much time on, on social media? You end up you doing get a post-drug a, you rap? You get a post-drug rap is what you do. <laughs> a trap, 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 drug rap. Trap. Trap, drug, rap. That's what you end up with. Trap, rap, drug. That's, <laughs> I don't know what these words are. And my, my daughter was posting something, too. She's, uh, I don't know, 20, how old is she? Oh. Papa holds my daughter. Okay, Pablo is laughing at you now. 26. Okay. Thank you, Pablo. So mm-hmm. my daughter's 26, and she posts something about going to the SZA concert. Is that ZA? I, what is it? I, I don't know. I think it's SZA. Is I that mean, the name? SZA. I mean, we were back getting ready is for the show. Hold on. What is it? SZA. Oh. SZA. SZA. She's an artist. <laughs> <laughs> You do realize he's laughing at you, not with you. I don't know what... Granted, I'm the one who said SZA. <laughs> that's really not very good either. But... Hold, okay, so SZA, because I saw that name at the Grammys last night, too. That was, uh, that was it for Grammys. SZA. Yeah, I told you right before the show, I was like, dude, I saw Five Sauce. And you're like, I don't know what that is. I don't know what, what is but Five Sauce. But you've seen them, too. I haven't right? seen Five Sauce. So- okay, Alfredo? No. Pesto? Five Seconds of Summer. Right. Didn't you say you've seen them? Oh, no, I heard of them. They oh, were, they were dude. So- See, it's I'm an cool. anagram and a name? I'm confused now. Oh, no, I'm cool. I've seen Five Sauce. Yeah, I went with my ex. Big Five Sauce fan. Is this like when my daughter referred to One Direction as 1D? Yeah. And I thought it was like a flat Stanley? That's it. I didn't understand it. Yep. No, I've seen all the cool artists from a few years ago. That's when I was in the cool kids crowd. Saw Lord, saw Adele. Oh, I like Lord. She does that royal song, right? Yeah, I like that song. Adele, I love Adele. Uh huh. B- wonderful voice. Yeah, and and then again, Five Sauce, big Five Sauce fan. So did I get old like in the last five years? Is that what you're telling me happened? Well, that's what it was. You're I'm getting even... a nod from the control room. There's a, yeah, it was the last five years is when I officially got off the cool bus. So am I old now that I I what? Don't, don't put an age on it, guys. Don't, don't let the don't you guys you guys are fine. Okay, if you like it, music belongs to everybody. If it hits the soul right, it's right. If it's on TikTok, 
I probably no. have heard it. TikTok. TikTok. No. Like Kesha saying. Love Kesha. TikTok. You know what the big clock. stars on TikTok is? What? Peso Pluma. Do you know what that is? He has no clue is what that, that one is. Is that the five sauces? No, he doesn't. It's not part of the five sauces, oh. but I'll, no. I'll teach you later. Okay. No, he doesn't know that. Now, Pablo, you- Is that one of those trap rap drugs? <laughs> he, he, does, <laughs> he does trap songs, but not rap. What is that? I don't know what a trap song is either. You were saying, okay. too, Pablo, that you wanted to go check out Stagecoach, mm. and you thought that could be awkward for you. I want to go to Stagecoach because I would be awkward because I'm not a cowboy, but there Says is who? a Neither Mexican artist that's going to be So would I look funny there? when Because I don't have my Western boots I, on or tight jeans or no, you'll fit a in belt fine. buckle? No. No, you'll be fine. i get you a buckle and maybe get you a hat, but uh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. There is, by the way, moving on, Joe, because I'm just, I feel like a, such a- An old man. I feel like, frankly, I, I feel like, like I'm so out of touch. I'm going to play some SZA like, for you. I'm like baby right now of yeah. the group. Thanks for watching the Chris and Joe Show. Click to see more from Chris and Joe and tap the button in the middle to subscribe to KTAR News.